Hey guys, today we are finally going to be talking about these Pat McGrath blush duos. I uh, ordered them off of Sephora's site. They came to me and then I came down with a little bit of vertigo and it was not that comfortable to film. My vertigo seemingly so far it has gone away, which is amazing. So I felt really good today, yesterday and today. Um, and then, well, this has turned into a quick little health update. I'm going to a chiropractor next Tuesday to get like realigned. They specialize in vertigo. They like do sinus work. I'm really, really excited. I've never been to a chiropractor. I've heard good things. <laughs> so anyway, quick little health update, but let's jump into these Pat McGrath blushes. So I, didn't think I was going to get all of them because I was like, it's, you know, I, I know there are some shades that aren't great for my particular skin tone, but I couldn't decide. So I did end up getting all five of them. I did also get the highlighter as well. So these blush duos, they are available on the Pat McGrath site. They're available on Sephora. I believe they're limited edition. I think I saw that on the Sephora site. Um, anyway, there's five blush duos in total. Um, the packaging and everything is very, very similar to her original blushes. So anyway, let's get into close-ups and swatches of these products. So the first one is Aphrodite Amour, and here's a close-up of the actual pan, and here is a swatch of the two shades side by side. Next we have Cosmic Coral, and here is a close-up of the pan, and again, swatches of both of the shades side by side. Next we have Divine Rose 2. Here's a close-up of the pan, and swatches. And next we have Night Bloom, which is incredibly vibrant. I opened this up and I was like, whoa, this is giving NARS Exhibit A a run for its money. So here are swatches of it side by side. And then last but not least, we have Paradise Glow. And here are swatches of that shade. So here are all five of the blush duos swatched across my arm. So you can do like a, a quick sort of comparison. The first one that I swatched, the Aphrodite Amour, that is definitely the lightest. Um, the last one that I swatched, Paradise Glow, is the most nudie brown toned. Uh, Night Bloom, uh, the one that I said gives Exhibit A a run for its money, is definitely the deepest and the boldest. And then the second and the third that I swatched, Cosmic Coral and Divine Rose 2, I would say those are the two kind of like mid-toned blushes in this lineup. So I did also get the highlighter, which is Lunar Allure. This is the Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter. Now I kind of poked around on her website. I also took a look at my collection, what I had. I did not see Lunar Allure anywhere, and I also couldn't find any information as to whether or not this was... Uh, like a repromote or it, it, you know, appeared someplace else. Uh, in any case, I didn't have it, so I picked up Lunar Allure. I do know the second deeper shade, or the deeper shade to this one, which I believe is Venus Nectar. That one has appeared in the Bridgerton, um, the second time they collabed. In the face palette, the highlighter in there is Venus Nectar. So I didn't get that one, and I just got this uh, Lunar Allure. So here's a close-up of the pan. Uh, the palette is the same size as the blushes, at least physically. Uh, Weight-wise, it is, let's see, 4.6 grams, and the blushes are 9.7 grams. So it's almost, almost half the size? Yeah, half the size of the blush duos, or half the weight, I should say, of the blush duos. Um, and then here is a swatch of Lunar Allure. Now the swatch looks incredibly, incredibly metallic and smooth, so I'm really excited to get this on, but we'll actually face swatch it once I've gone through all the blushes. Um, so I have pretty much all of my makeup down except for any cheek products. So I don't have any bronzer, any highlight, any other kind of blush down. I do have uh, basically a little bit of concealer down and then I put uh, some powder down as well. So let's go ahead and get started with um, Aphrodite Amour. So I've got my Sonia G Cheek Pro Brush. I'm gonna go into the shade on the left here. And these pans are big enough that you can focus your brush on just one shade instead of being forced to like, you know, use both shades at a time. Um, so that's really nice. And I like how even though she's incorporated a design, it's literally just like half and half. So I think that's pretty well thought out. Uh, so again, I'm going into this like pinkier, brighter pinker shade here. And I'm gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks here. For this particular blush duo, this Aphrodite Amour, which is uh, the lightest shade in the collection, when I was swatching it, I did also notice that 
uh, it was the least pigmented. So I felt like I was picking up enough product, but it really wasn't showing up on my um, on my arm. So I was curious to see how it was gonna behave. And it is pretty light. It's not like an overly pigmented blush where you have to really be careful with how much you're putting down. Um, so there is the light bright shade. And then I'm just going to, I've got a microfiber towel here. I'm gonna wipe off my brush, go into the shade on the right hand side. So this is kind of the, I don't know, paler, more neutral shade. And just apply that towards the back of my cheek. So that shade has a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. It's very, very pretty. And this shade, this pink shade here is a little bit more of like a demi matte shade. So what I'm gonna do for this side is I'm actually going to go between both of the shades, really kind of get both on my brush here and see if we can even see a difference. I feel like with the deeper shades we'll be able to, this one is so light and the contrast is not that much. I don't know if we're gonna see that much of a difference, but let's try it out. Okay, so here it is all mixed in. I think the sheen of the shade on the right really comes through. Yeah, there you can see it, really comes through. It's very pretty. Um, and this side, I don't know, it appears a little bit brighter than this side but I think that's, that's really, really minor. So here's Aphrodite Amour, applied separately and applied together. Okay, base has been reapplied. Let's move on to the next one. We've got Cosmic Coral, and this one is so beautiful. I love this more neutral shade over here. So I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like uh, applied separately. I'm going in again with the Sonia G uh, Cheek Pro Brush, and I am just kind of wiping it off on my microfiber towel here. So I think for this one, I'm gonna apply this bright peachy shade, the coral shade. I'm just gonna apply to the apples of my cheeks here. This powder feels very soft. I'm picking up a lot by barely tapping it into, into the pan. Okay, there is the coral side applied really bright so so pretty and next i'm going to go ahead and apply uh, this shade and really try and focus my brush just on that product yeah i think you can see it's like a touch warmer here it looks a little bit more orange so that is this shade and then right here is that brighter shade Ooh, fun it does like a fun little ombre there all right, now let's combine the two and apply all over. Really pretty. I like the combination. I feel like what ends up on your cheeks is just a sh like a shade that's like a little bit warmer than what you see in the pan for this bright coral. Really pretty. So this is Cosmic Coral applied separately and then applied together. By the way, I am wearing the little six pan eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath. It is so cute, I love it. <laughs> it's so good, I love the eyeshadows in there, the colors, the formulation, everything, and I just love how compact this little guy is. Yeah, I just, I love it. Anyway, um, I'll list all the products that I have on my face down below in my description box if you're curious. All right, next up we have Divine Rose 2. And again, I'm gonna start with the brighter shade and put that on the apples of my cheeks. So there is the bright shade there. And what I'm noticing is there's a little bit of inconsistency in like the softness of the powder in um, Cosmic Coral, like this side, the blush was really soft. Like there was a lot of kick up. I got a lot of product on my brush, um, but using the Aphrodite Amour, the first one, and now this one, the Divine Rose 2, I don't, I don't find that it is quite as soft. You know, there's not as much kick up. I'm not getting as much product on my brush. You can probably even see the difference too. Um, so there is a little bit of difference there, kind of depending on what shade you're getting. So I'm just gonna beef this up a little bit just so you guys can get a good sense of the shade. But this is a pretty cool toned um, pink. And again, this one has like a really pretty metallic sheen to it. Do you see it's like a metallic pink on top? Really pretty. And then I'm gonna go into the left side here and apply back here. So there's that other shade. 
I feel like the um, the right side here is a little bit cooler. Maybe it's that metallic sheen kind of coming through that makes it look cooler. And then this side, it has like a little bit more red. Yeah, I think you can see that in the pan. Yeah, it's just a little bit more red. It doesn't have a sheen, so it's like like a demi matte. So there they are applied separately. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply both. I'm just gonna kind of stamp between the two. Ooh, pretty. So Divine Rose 2 combined. I really gave myself clown cheeks on this side. I really want you to see kind of like the difference, <laughs> the difference in the tones. But this is a very heavy application. This is a great shade if you just want like a pink blush. There's no like pinky peach to it. There's no like warm, like nude to it at all. It's just a really pretty pink. All right, so that was Divine Rose 2. All right, next we have Night Bloom. I wonder how this is gonna look. Now, I've always been surprised at how beautiful Exhibit A from NARS looks, which is very, very similar to this shade, if you're unfamiliar. It's like, it's like just like this really bright, bright red shade, and it's so intimidating, but yeah, it's really pretty once you get it on. So I'm hoping for the same effect. We'll see. Um, I don't think I've ever used a blush quite this purple either, so this is gonna be, this is gonna be new for me. All right, so I'm gonna go into Exhibit A. And yep, I picked up too much. I'm gonna take a buffing brush here and see if I can soften that out a little. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys remember uh, me talking about uh, Pat McGrath's initial blush launch. They, they weren't these duos, they were singles. I think they were like nine shades. And I think the shades are really beautiful. And I think once I get them blended out, they're really lovely. I, I, I love wearing them, they're long wearing, all the things but I have a hard time blending them out compared to a lot of my other favorite uh, blushes. And I'm noticing the same thing with this. So I think it's the same formula essentially, but I find that um, these blushes have a bit of stick to them. So once you get them down, it takes a bit, you know, a bit of this elbow grease to uh, blend them out. So I did want to mention that because I had talked about that when I talked about her initial blush launch. Okay, so here is the uh, red side. Now I'm gonna go into the purple and wow, this is <laughs> really, really bright, really bright. So there is the purple. This obviously I don't think is meant for my skin tone, but I think if I'm able to apply it in a softer way, it should be fine. But yeah, it's just not easy to blend out. And I suspect it's the same for all of the blushes. It's just much more obvious when you're dealing with a color that is so much deeper than my skin tone. You know what I mean? So anyway, this is Night Bloom on the cheek. I'm going to take my brush, kind of clean it off here, and then just go between the two lightly, really knock off any excess here. And just, okay, I overdid it. Now I <laughs> have no product on my brush but I don't know if you can see that. So you can see exactly where I did this with my brush. And that doesn't happen a lot with a lot of my powder blushes. Like it really kind of applies a little bit more seamlessly, but you can see like the brush strokes there. And then when I try and go and blend that out, it's, it's difficult. I still see the blush strokes. So like I said, this formula for me at least, it's just a little bit stickier. I really have to get in there and um, blend it out. So this is one way I apply blush, and I've tried different sort of like application strategies, I guess you could say, when it comes to these Pat McGrath blushes because of this. Um, I'll even try, you know, just the regular like upward motion, and it'll just, I'll just have this plop right here, and then kind of like a streak, but you'll see like where my brush lands. So anyway, it just, it doesn't matter like how I apply it. I always have like a lot of the product right where I put the blush down. Um, no matter how lightly I like just dust the brush over my skin. Yeah, it just really, like I keep saying, it just kind of sticks. It really, really sticks. It does make this blush very long wearing though. I will say that this blush, I feel like never fades when I do wear it. So just had to mention that too. That I guess would be the, the pro to this kind of formula. Okay, so I think I finally have blended it out. So yeah, once it's blended out, it looks great. But here is Night Bloom. <laughs> I look crazy, I look crazy. But what a pretty color. 
For those of you with deeper skin tones, gorgeous, right? This is gonna be so beautiful. Let me remove this and we'll move on to the last one. All right, and here is the last one. This is Paradise Glow, and I'm really excited for this one because it is uh, very neutral or nude-ish, I should say. Whoa, after Night Bloom, I feel like I'm having a hard time getting this brush clean. Maybe I'll use a different uh, blush brush here, let's see. Well, I've got my Chikahoto Cheek and Highlight Brush. It is quite different from the Sonia G. It's a lot lighter and fluffier. Um, well, this could be a good test. So I'm gonna go into the lighter shade over here on the left and pop that right onto the apples of my cheeks. So there's just the lighter color. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's like a really kind of neutrally peach color. And there is a sheen to that shade, like a light copper kind of sheen. Very pretty. And then I'm gonna go into the deeper shade here and Blend that out, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Okay, you guys, this one is my favorite. <laughs> I was kind of expecting it to be my favorite, but it really is. I just wasn't sure, I was looking at it and I'm like, it could turn really like orangey on my skin or whatever. It's not doing that. It actually has a really nice, especially this deeper shade, has a really nice red undertone. Ooh, this is like a beautiful like sunburnt blush. Okay, I'm gonna go into both of the Shades here, maybe do a little swirly action. All right, there are both shades. Well, it ends up being a much deeper shade because this color is, is so rich, but that's a really beautiful sunburn shade. I definitely applied this on the, on the heavier side just so you guys could get a good sense of the tone of the shade. But yeah, this is a really, really heavy, <laughs> heavy application of the blush. I love blush, but not, not this much, this is a lot. This is a little bit closer to my speed. <laughs> but anyway, that is Paradise Glow. And yeah, I think, I think this one is my favorite. I just love the tone of this. It has like a little bit of terracotta to it. There, it's slightly nude. There's a beautiful sheen to the left side, not the right side, but the left side this time. That one has like a little bit of a sheen, gorgeous. And I feel like this side has it's like giving me like fresco vibes, my favorite Laura Mercier blush, that shade fresco. It's giving me fresco vibes right here. Beautiful, okay. So those are all five of the blushes. Let's go ahead and apply this highlight because I am very, very curious to see how shiny this looks on the skin. So I've got my Surratt highlight brush. I'm just gonna dip it in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Picked up quite a bit with just one dip. Let me... Knock some of that off. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Very blinding, very, very blinding. I'm gonna take my buffer brush and just work it in there a little bit more. Yeah, that is stark. And this is definitely on the cooler side. Yeah, it's definitely on the cooler side. I picked up much less and this seems like a healthier amount <laughs> of highlight. <laughs> so here is Lunar Allure, and this is the lightest shade of the highlighters. Wow, that's really glowy. Really, really glowy. And it's pretty smooth looking, I have to say. I would just go, I, I would build up. I, <laughs> I would I would take this lightly and build up for sure. So those are all of the new Divine Blush duos uh, from Pat McGrath and her Divine Glow highlight in Lunar Allure. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.